Aquarius. All right, um, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat. If you see this little dark mark on my hand, it's um, a little bruise where I tried to change a bulb on my headlight on my own. And uh, I was trying to remove the panel uh, to do it and um, uh, it's just a little tiny impact injury. I did ma manage to get it fixed after, but I had to get some help from someone who actually knew what they were doing. Um, anyway, Aquarius, I have shuffled these decks very, very carefully for you guys. Do you like starting with the Witch's Tarot? This is not uh, um, something that I normally do, but I'm going to. We give it one more little shuffle. Okay, what is the issue for fixed air, please? What is the issue for fixed air, please? Sorry we didn't manage a live reading today. Um, we're going to try doing one tomorrow, being Sunday. I'm hopefully going to stream it tonight, uh, the link. And um, we'll just see how it goes. Expect the unexpected. Uh, God, speaking of which, just look at the Empress there at the bottom of the deck. Um, okay, so some of you could be dealing with the pregnancy. Others, I'm seeing it as um, growth of an idea. It could be something you've been trying to manifest. Let's just get to another card. Oh, wow. <laughs> just put the deck. Look what came up. Okay, so this is so for some of you, it's about an important choice. Um, I feel like they're... There's definitely a Virgo uh, involved, possibly an Earth sign. I saw Sun in Virgo and the Magician there. Aquarius and Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo or an Earth sign uh, or a Libra, this is your reading. I'm thinking, or Gemini. So I'm looking at the Lovers and the uh, Empress there. All right. For others, who is this for? For others, what's the issue? Okay. <laughs> for others, the issue is Leo. What a surprise. Okay, all right, so let's get two cards from uh, Wildwood just to clarify the issue. Can we get two cards? I don't know why I'm saying two, but I'm saying two. Uh, can we get two cards, please, to clarify the issue for other aquas? Okay, one. Okay, you know, on the pre-shuffle, uh, the Queen of Wands was coming up quite a bit. Um, again, there's the Magician there. Uh, so that could be an Aries, okay? Uh, Aries woman, I'm seeing. So there's some. So for some of you, this is uh, for the male aqua energy, okay? Um, yeah, and I'm also seeing that Queen of Cups energy, okay? I feel like there's a, a lot of male aquas that this could relate to as well. Um, all right, okay. So Aqua, what is the challenge here? I feel like some of you have been arguing with the fire sign. Okay. Can we uh, get the challenge please for Aquarius? Can we get the challenge please? What is the challenge for Aqua? Okay, yeah, again. So this Five of Wands energy, there's arguing, uh, this could be this is Saturn in Leo. It's also competition. Um, I'm seeing arguments, mainly heated arguments. Yeah, there could have been a tower moment. Uh, this is this is Aries and Scorpio energy. So arguing could have led to the tower moment. It may have originated from either a Capricorn or a secret kept or somebody. Um, some selfishness over money, possibly. I'm going to get one card from the traditional deck to clarify the challenge. Um, I'm seeing the Empress again. All right. So it could be somebody's wife. It could be about a pregnancy. It could be about a Libra or a Taurus. Okay, what is, can we clarify the challenge here, please? For Aqua, can we clarify the challenge, please? Can we clarify the challenge, please? It's not on that side. All right. Can we clarify the challenge, please, for Aqua? Yeah. I mean, there's two things. So one could be, um, it could be about stability. There's the Venus and Aries there. Um, or about Capricorn building, with the Capricorn getting approval to build something. Okay. Um, let's just stick with the traditional deck now. 
What is crowning Aquarius' reading, please? So what's possible here? What's crowning Aquarius' reading, please? What's possible for Aqua? What's crowning Aquarius' reading here, please? Okay, it's not on the side. I'm going to switch to, uh, which is tarot. What's crowning Aqua's reading, please? I'm seeing Virgo again. What is crowning Aqua's reading, please? It's good. It's really good. Uh, what is crowning Aqua's reading, please? What's crowning Aqua's reading, that is? Virgo. Uh, what does this mean? You know, okay, there's something very important about that cliff. Because that is the same cliff that the Fool stands on. The Fool, you know, is the most powerful card in the deck. Uh, on the Tree of Life, the Fool connects the Spirit Crown, which is the top. Uh, you know, that's where uh, the Spirit is imported into the Tree of Life. Uh, with Hakwa, uh, wisdom, you know. Um, it's not, it, you know, it's path one of the Tree of Life, but it doesn't mean that it's where you begin. In fact, you begin at the bottom. Um, it is a journey that many souls never get to experience. Um, this is for an aqua uh, who has achieved great wisdom, I feel. This is very powerful reading, guys. All right. What is in the recent past, please? What's in the recent... There's a <laughs> Some of you are dealing with an unruly fire sign. It could be a Leo. You may have put your foot down. Okay? Look at this. Imported some wisdom and did a walk away. Okay? You may have done that. There may have been a Gemini who was driving you bonkers because there's you looking at them. Okay? Something may have come to light about some kind of uh, inverted truth I'm seeing there. Um, somebody wants to make you an offer. I think it's going to happen. It's going to be very unexpected. All right. Let's get the um, subconscious energy from your person. Okay. What are the sub yeah, I'm seeing Leo. Somebody wants a victory with your aqua. Somebody wants a victory with their aqua. <laughs> somebody also wants to apologize. All right. Look at that again. So there we have it right there. And someone wants a major change for others of you. Someone uh, wants a reunification and they are spying on Aqua. <laughs> um, we're on a, the cards are very much charged into your energy now. So we're just going to get the outcome, okay? I feel like we should go back to the original deck for the outcome. I'm going to go back to the original deck for the outcome. All right. Some of you, this could have to do with um, a Virgo or a Capricorn or simply trying to get somebody to make up their mind about something, okay? This could be something that you're uh, trying to do. Somebody feels very, very, very bad. Um, I don't, it's not you. What is this? Wow. Yeah, someone wants a reunification uh, for sure. They want to start something over again. Fresh start. It could very well be with the Virgo, and that, you know, that person wants a major change. This is the person that feels bad and wants to reunify with you. Now, let's just get the outcome, okay? This should flip. The outcome should flip. What is the outcome for Aqua, please? Okay, it did flip. <laughs> this is going to be something groundbreaking. Now, hang on, because this is not a feeling. Every now and then, the tower is something that is not unstable. It's something that's quite snap. That's what I feel that it is. Okay? I'm, I'm seeing the lovers come up again, but let's just see if it flips. I feel like this is something that's going to surprise you. Um, it's almost like when it happens, uh, you're just going to be shocked beyond belief. What is the outcome? What goes with the tower? Sorry. What goes with the tower? What goes with the tower? It's something you've been stressing and losing sleep over or possibly the other person. What goes with the tower, please? This could be it. Yeah, it's something that you're not sure about right now. We're going to... Uh, what else is this tower moment for Aqua? Ooh, geez, the cards are just jumping out. Look at that. Um, we've got to get something to flip here. I really feel like this is something that you've been stressing a lot over. 
uh, possibly something that somebody had to make a decision about. Um, that's definitely crying out there. Yeah, look, uh, there's some jealousy involved here. There's some jealousy. What is this tower moment for Aqua? What on earth is this tower moment? You've had to really hunker down um, and, and be very, very, oops, sorry. There we go. Yeah, so it's something that, this is beautiful, Ace of Stones. So this is the very beginning. It's, it could be with an earth sign. It's a brand new beginning. Why do I feel like this is something? I feel like it's something that you're growing. Yeah, it's something that you are manifesting, I feel like. Look, um, there's some Sagittarius energy there. It's something that you're very, very, I mean, there's the, uh, there's the strength card there, the, um, the card of Leo. Possibly something you've had to, there's Leo again, yeah. Um, one more card, I really feel like it has to do with the decision that's being made. Either you or the other person is keeping their foot down, putting their foot down about it, it has to do with love. We're just going to take this deck and turn it over. Yeah, there's the magician. Whatever you have been trying to manifest, Aqua, it is definitely coming around. I feel like this is something that you have been working on. I'm just going to let the... Uh, <laughs> wow, look at this. I think that you're going to be hearing news about this. Um, it may have to do with the decision that is being made. Heart over head. An Aries or Cancer could be involved, but I'm seeing mainly that little blue sleeve there, news coming in, okay? I believe that this news is going to be literally like earth-shattering, tower-shattering um, news, and definitely, look at this, King of Stones, and we have Ace of Stones, it could very well have to do with an earth sign, that's an absolutely beautiful card. All right, Aquarius, let me know how it goes. Let me know if it resonated. Thanks, and we'll probably stream live tomorrow.